Hey guys, it's your girl Miss T. You know that's me, and I'm back at it with another recap. This recap is for Monday Night Raw, June 3rd, 2024. Be sure to like this video because we are trying to get this video to 200 likes. Also, remember to subscribe. Let's jump into this one. First things first, Liv Morgan addressed the smooch between her and Dominic Mysterio, making it perfectly clear she is going after everything that belonged to Rhea Ripley. Dominic Mysterio came to the ring and told her you're gonna regret this but Liv Morgan took it upon herself to get a little bit flirty with Dominic Mysterio now Dominic Mysterio was looking everywhere but where Liv Morgan was at but wait a damn minute Finn Balor totally interrupted this segment and said hell no this is not happening he wasn't having any of the nonsense and broke Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio up and I gotta say I was totally here for this this was funny now some fans are and buying it they think that finn balor is okay with this and dominic mysterio is actually feeling this but what do you guys think do you think dominic mysterio like secretly likes Liv morgan do you think the judgment day is okay with her uh let me know in the comments omg i gotta admit this was probably the segment that pissed me off the most during this episode of monday night raw otis had the opportunity to turn on chad gable there was a moment where sammy Zayn and chad gable were really going at it chad gable you know he has been bullying alpha academy there were so many moments for otis to turn on chad gable or to at least stick up to him and instead Instead, he did this. Otis is a freaking suck up. He totally obeyed Chad Gable after Chad Gable totally bullied him in Alpha Academy. He, I, I can't even believe Otis. He attacked Sammy and Chad Gable was happy about this. But you could totally see Alpha Academy is on the verge of a breakup. But, you know, they're on the verge of the very end. They are so over Chad Gable. And I don't even blame them. I expected more out of Otis. This is such a disappointment. I'm really hoping that we see Chad Gable and Otis bump heads and Otis can get back to his senses. My girl Kiana James finally had her first televised match on Monday Night Raw against Natalia. Now, I gotta say, both of these girls did excellent in their match, but the crowd was just quiet very quiet i feel like wwe seriously needs to get the main roster fans familiar with kiana james that comes with character development good storytelling booking it has to be there because this crowd just wasn't they weren't so engaged because they just simply don't know who she is. So the women's tag team division just got a little bit hotter because the unholy union is back. Yes, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn are back. They attack Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair. And it's safe to say at Clash at the Castle, this is going to go down. And I got to say, this is a match I'm totally looking forward to. I'm a fan of the unholy union and I also like Bianca and Jade. But how long are they going to hold those? titles for i don't know there was another cryptic message on this episode of monday night raw now you guys know these cryptic messages and qr codes have been a thing on all three brands for quite some time it said see you tonight people have found out the cryptic message led to raw talk maybe it just continues the mystery continues over there more clues to gather but am i the only one that feels like this is dragging a little long now um i don't know let me know what you guys think about the cryptic messages now we know it has to do with maybe um the wyatt six or Bo dallas we don't know but let me know what you guys think i do think this is dragging a bit i really hope we can at least get one superstar to pop up and maybe foreshadow something coming out of this because the cryptic messages are feeling a little overwhelming and kind of old but let me know maybe it's just me let me know what you guys think down in the comments so braun breaker on this episode of monday night raw had a match with ricochet where he wanted to use the steel steps at the end to end ricochet's life Luckily, Ilya Dragunov and 
you know, Adam Pierce and the staff came in to stop that from happening. But it looks like next week on Monday Night Raw, we're going to get an amazing match between Ilya Dragunov and Braun Breaker. Now, as somebody who appreciated their work down in NXT, I can tell you this is going to be a banger of a match and I can't freaking wait. Some other matches to expect next week on Monday Night Raw. We're also going to see EO Sky versus Lyra Valkyria. On this episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw EO Sky attack Lyra Valkyria backstage. Gotta say, it was a brutal beatdown. EO Sky is not playing no games, and Lyra Valkyria is going to have to answer that call next week. And we're also going to see Otis versus Sami Zayn. Now, Otis, I'm really hoping you don't disappoint me because I was disappointed in Otis during this episode of Monday Night Raw. And I don't know what's going to happen there with Alpha Academy, but I was kind of hoping Otis sticks up to Chad Gable and that's the way that Alpha Academy breaks up. But I don't really know where that's going to go. I guess we get more answers next week. By the way, I don't trust Chad Gable. He's up to no good. We saw him talking backstage to the Creed brothers. Now, fans picked up on this, and this is a clue that could foreshadow the future. I don't know if this guy's going to turn on Alpha Academy to go with the Creeds or what, but something smells fishy here, and I simply don't trust Chad Gable. So during the main event, of Monday Night Raw, it was Rey Mysterio versus Damian Priest. Damian Priest came out on top, but Drew McIntyre interfered in this setting, and that was a huge mistake. Finally, we got a glimpse of what Damian Priest is really all about. He choke slammed Drew McIntyre through a freaking table, and this was the final result. Damian Priest is ready to face Drew McIntyre at Clash at the Castle. And I'm a bit worried for Drew McIntyre. I either have CM Punk getting involved and ruining that big moment for Drew or Damian Priest really showing that he's serious about his title run. Either way, I'm worried about Drew McIntyre. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm so happy to see Damian Priest finally being shown in a different light a little bit more intimidating a little bit tougher like he actually looked like a leader out there and a champion and i was so happy about that because that's what it should have been from the start let me know what you guys think down in the comments so guys i hope you enjoyed this recap this was a messy episode for monday night raw but i gotta say i enjoyed it let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below and if you guys want to watch live on stream with me head over to twitch where i watch the weekly shows with you guys monday night raw nxt smackdown you name it go check me out over there the link will be down in the description below also be sure to like this video because we are trying to get this video to 200 likes and subscribing is so important so you can stay up to date with all the episodes the recaps and so much more and until next time uh deuces